Welcome to the physics of a bullwhip 101. Okay, so the bullwhip I'll be using today weighs 0.544 kilograms. Uh, I already weighed it in pounds. It was 1.2 pounds. Did a little conversion there. Uh, the distance, this is actually a 10 foot long bullwhip. Uh, in meters, and it's about three meters. Uh, the conversion is actually um, three meters is actually nine point eight um, feet, so close enough. <laughs> um, and uh, after doing all the math, after a while, it took a little bit. Um, the distance was three meters, so if work equals the force applied and the distance in which it travels then the overall work is 31,443 joules. Um, the overall force um, was 10,481 newtons. Uh, after doing the math, I was kind of taken back. I said, wow, it's big numbers, but I realized that it's breaking the sound barrier. So it works out. Um, there are a couple different ways to crack the whip in order to, to break this, the sound barrier. Um, the sound barrier is 340 meters per second. So it's pretty quick. Um, and I can tell you that because I've hit myself with this a couple times in learning and yes it hurts. So um, it's pretty quick. Uh, it's not easy to do this. It takes a lot of manpower, you know, the force of... 10,000 joule or uh, 10,000 newtons, sorry, um, to get uh, 31 joule, 31,000 joules. Um, it's pretty tough. So I'm just going to show you first couple basic ways to crack the bullwhip. Um, the one in which I did the math for, um, the easiest one that I could do, um, the most consistent that I did the math for, uh, was an overhead crack, um, in which the whip goes in a full 360 degrees. And then to get it to break the sound barrier, what you have to do is quickly change direction to get it to crack. So that was the one uh, I used I used to get the math on, was the overhead crack. And a nice loud one would sound something like this. Pretty loud. It, like I said, it goes in excess of 340 meters per second. And that is this piece right here. This piece is what breaks the sound barrier that goes the 340 meters per second. So, here it is again, the overhead crack which breaks the sound barrier at over 340 meters per second. Um, just a few other ways you can crack the bullet to get it to break the sound barrier is a cattleman's crack, such as so. Then there is the reverse cattleman's crack. A um, couple, couple other fun ones is called the, um, the snake killer. Uh, particularly hard because it takes a lot of shoulder work. In. You already saw the overhead crack. I'm going to show you the reverse overhead crack. You're going to start with on the left. Keep in mind, in every single one of these cracks, the end of the bullwhip is going at about 330 meters per second, which it takes 10,000 joules, sorry, 10,000 newtons of force to get it to go that fast. And in the end, the overall work is about 31,000 joules. And there you had it. Hope you had fun with Bullwhip Physics 101.